Hey guys, um, so this is September's budget um, that I'm going to go over with you now. Bear with me, this is the first time I have actually used Excel for my budget, so <laughs> it may change, but I thought I'd publish it early, see what you guys think before I do um, the actual thing. I'm just sort of testing this out before I sort of go back to every dollar um, just to see if this works. A little better. So, to start off with, the September's budget. So I've listed my pay date. So I got paid on the 7th and the 21st. I'm paid bi-weekly and this is my paycheck total there. Um, I've added in, so two weeks, I've added in garage sale because I am selling some stuff and that's going to go straight towards debt. But I haven't earned anything for the month of September so um, that's at zero right now. So on to expenses down here. I kind of like Excel only because there's a lot of formulas I can use and um, I like numbers and I like sort of messing around with them so <laughs> at least that part is a little enjoyable. So um, on the top in red are of course what I have in debt and those for me get paid first um, other than rent because everything else is sort of um, I can say optional at this point. I guess auto insurance isn't really optional, um, but in all else fails, I can actually remove my auto insurance and just not drive for a while, which is an option. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get started. So line of credit, my minimum payment is $150, um, on it. Uh, so... I like the formulas in Excel, so if you notice, like, they're all listed in red because I haven't paid it yet, um, and the minimum I have to pay is 150 so if I put in 150 the colors change. So, for me, colors change, and yellow is sort of neutral. I've paid the minimum I have to pay, and that's great. I don't have to worry about it. However, if I pay more... It goes to green. Look, I pay more debt. I, I kind of I kind of really do like Excel. Um, and so the same thing goes for the credit card. My minimum payment is 100 So if I put in just 100 it's in yellow. If I go 101 green. And so on and so forth. So my minimum payment, um, though for credit card, is 100 I've allotted $239.45 to my credit card, which is more than my minimum payment because I'm hoping to get that student loan paid off in September. I'm super excited. So my minimum payment on my student loan is $180. If I manage to pay $637.89 on it, it will be done. Um, it is currently in a grace period because I went back to school. Um, so I think there's a little bit of an interest that I would have to pay on top of that for that payment. But other than that, it should be done. It's I've seen debt payoffs for student loans in the US before, but unfortunately the Canada integrated loans don't actually work that way. It's all through bill payment. There's not just like a payoff button. That would be super nice though, but it doesn't operate like that. So unfortunately, but it is going to get paid next month, so super exciting, unless things go horribly wrong, which I, I don't expect them to. Next month, student loans, done. Um, <clears throat> car payment, stay the same, 352 It's actually on a bi-weekly payment of 176 but, you know, 352 is the total for that month anyways. Um, auto insurance, uh, it's 102 um, and that stays the same. Um, and so for auto insurance, this one, if I do it 102, it goes to green because that's the exact payment. I don't overpay on my auto insurance. Um, so the goal is to get all of those in green. So the whole column in green, um, that's sort of the, the end goal. <laughs> other than the red. So once it's green, I know it's paid, or yellow for my debt payments, but let's hope they all eventually will go into the green and they will be gone and out of my life, but that won't be a year and like six months away. Um, so phone, um, last month was one uh, was 57, this month I went <laughs> over on my charges, so it'll be 120. Um, <coughs> and uh, so Again, I've allotted 120, so if I go 120, it'll be in green. 
because it's my cell phone bill next month. Uh, hydro is $50. Rent, um, there was a rental increase back in August, so I'm now up to $500. I was at $485. Um, parking. So I have to pay for parking at my work. Um, I've already paid for this year's parking, so it works out to be about $800 for the year. So that's going to come up due in December, so that's why I haven't saved for it. <laughs> um, so that's why it's up to $200 right now. It's because I haven't had a sinking fund for it because I haven't been doing my sinking funds for a while now. Um, so it's going to be $200 um, for the next four months so that I can get that all together for the end of the month so I can pay for my parking all in one shot. If I do it <clears throat> month to month and just use scratch cards, um, it actually works out to be about $1,000 for the year. So it's sort of, you know, in the long it's annoying now, but in the long run, it'll save me money next year for just the parking pass. Um, emergency fund, I have the $1,000, so I don't need to add anything to it. So that's all in green. Um, I haven't been, I haven't been saving for Christmas. No, I don't need back to school stuff. Thank you. Haven't been saving for Christmas. Again, no sinking funds, so that's going to be $100. I should be able to manage on a $400 Christmas this year. I have a lot more nieces and nephews. It's, um, Christmas is, 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 is the bane of my debt-free existence. Um, so, Christmas. Hundred dollars. It needs to happen. Uh, vacation. It's not going to happen. Tuition. I'm not planning to go back to school anytime soon. At least not until I'm debt free. Gas. Going to be forty dollars. Car emergency. Again, I haven't been um, saving for that, so it's going to be forty dollars because that again has to be uh, my maintenance um, needs to be done in December. So it costs one hundred and twenty dollars. So. Um, well, between 120 and 150 with tax, um, so that'll be just enough for my maintenance on my car by the time December rolls around. Groceries, $80. Normally it's $200, but I will show you guys a video. My pantry is literally full of stuff I can eat. My fridge is full. My freezer is full. I don't expect to need to go grocery and shopping for the next month other than the essentials so like milk eggs bread vegetables um which i can i'm gonna see if i can manage on twenty dollars um a week it's gonna be hard and it's definitely gonna be a challenge but i'm up for the challenge and we'll see what happens if i have to up the budget well then a little bit less will be going on to my credit card <laughs> um Restaurant, $10 for the month. Um, I've reduced my budget <laughs> sort of significantly when I'm going back to this because I figured, like, I've been all wishy-washy for the past couple of months. I can afford to just sort of go balls to the walls on this. Um, and and I, I really want to get my debt paid down. So I'm going to try to have sort of a very little spend month because normally I'd probably say my grocery budget would be around $200 um, and my restaurant budget would be probably between 40 and 50 on a normal budget but um, I really want to get that student loan paid off next month it's gonna be gone I have plans personal fitness um, so I do have a fitness mem membership of $45 I am not willing to compromise on that um, because I do use it and I have been starting to go to the gym and it's kind of a lifesaver to have that membership. I, I, it's not just something I enjoy now, but it's something that I need for my health. So I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of the gym membership. Yes, I could theoretically exercise at home, but when I'm at home, I don't. So yeah, um, so my gym membership is 45 um, dollars a month and so that leaves 25 for sorry yeah my gym membership is well 43 and so that will leave um well 45 so gym membership is about 20 no personal is about 20 um it's like 43 with taxes 
So let's just round up to 45 and then 20 for personal with an extra two bucks. So yeah, around there, it's sort of split evenly there. Um, it's only these $20 because you, you never know what's going to happen. Honestly, that's probably going to end up going to my grocery budget at the end of the month if I don't, if I fail, but I'm not planning to fail. But just in cases, my miscellaneous is there. Um, and laundry, $26. I don't know how I managed it, but I think, like, for all my previous budgets, I forgot to put in my laundry, but I generally only do my laundry, like, once a month, because I have enough clothes to sort of last, and I just do a massive <clears throat> sort of laundry thing, um, at the end of the month, so I think it's just sort of ended up being a, a, a thing that comes out of my personal budget or some of my miscellaneous in the end, but I never budgeted for laundry, and I don't know why, um, before. So yeah, that is what I'm budgeting for, so I kind of went over some YouTube tutorials <laughs> for this. So last month it was definitely more than 1,481, but those are sort of the ones that I could actually fill out for what I've actually spent last month. That's not accurate at all. But my total income is twenty uh, $2,732.34. I've allotted $2,732.34. So it is an every dollar budget. I haven't spent anything in September because it's not September yet. So the balance is still $2,732.34. So if we go and look over here, because I did something nifty, I'm really like an Excel. <laughs> okay, so um, income to debt ratio. So my income is $2,732.34. Debt allotted, so debt repayment, hopefully for the month of September, if all goes well, uh, $1,379.34. My income allotted to debt is 50%. That is ridiculous. <laughs> How much debt I have is just ridiculous. So yeah, 50%. Uh, income to sinking funds, $386. Income allotted to 60, uh, sinking funds, 14%. Income bills ratio, so bills, $772. Income allotted to bills, 28%. That's a lot too. But that includes rent. So that's fair. Um, income cash envelopes ratio. So um, $195 is going to my cash envelopes. And income allotted to cash envelopes is 7%. Um, and all those percentage equals 100%. So income, debt bills, sinking funds. And 100%. And that's sort of what I like about that. So yeah. That's my budget for the month, and oh, yeah, down here. So I've also added what I actually have in my bank account. Now my checking account is not at the end of the month, so I don't know what's going to be in there at the end of the month, so I haven't listed that. Uh, savings, $1,000, it's my emergency fund. Uh, mutual funds, so currently it's at uh, $7,856.26. Um, yeah, so that's my mutual funds. I... This is pre, this is all in here pre Dave Ramsey, so that, that has been in there for, actually that one. So that one is interesting, because that one originally started when I first started working when I was 16. Um, I was in a union, and they had a pension plan, and when I left that job, I had about 30, I had 3,400 um, in, in there. And so when I left that job, I came uh, out of it, I put in a, um, put it in a GIC for five years and that gained 25% interest over the five years. So I got $800 and that actually um, was able to be cashed out last week because the five years was up. I can't believe it like, like it was locked in, but I can't believe I never actually tried to actually get that out because it's been an interesting couple of years. So yeah, so I had an extra $800 and then I had some money already in mutual funds. So total out of that was 42. Um, and then I had a, another um, 34, I guess, um, in mutual funds already, and so that's moved over, um, and so currently it's sitting at $7,856.26. I'm not adding anything to it. Um, I haven't added anything to it since I've been on the Dave Ramsey plan. Um, so that was for my first job. 
Um, Manulife here, that's again another RSP. Um, that's you know, uh, $12,997.86, um, and that was from my um, job previous to the one I currently have, and um, that when I got on the Dave Ramsey plan, that I stopped all contributions at that point. Um, and so that's sort of what accumulated there, and that's still earning interest. I'm not planning to pull it out because that would be stupid because I'm just going to, that, that would just be giving the government money because um, they would charge me about 30% to pull those two out. Um, and that's, that's losing like a good six grand right there. So that would be, that would be stupid. So it's just staying in there um, and I'm just going to pay off my debt the old fashioned way. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. Um, it will, I will do an updated version at the end of the month, um, at the end of this month, because I just sort of want to post it, see what you guys think, um, if I'm missing anything, and I'll, I'll probably repost it on the first if I need to make any changes, because I might make some changes. Um, I don't know, I like it right now, and I do like the formulas and the whole formatting and stuff, so I am kind of liking Excel. But yeah, so that's what I have. And uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, please feel free to like, subscribe, and, you know, hit that notification bell.